I was chatting to a male acquaintance recently and we got to talking about what TV shows we'd been watching. He mentioned those newest shows, Cucumber, Tofu and Banana, and said that the gay stuff was, quote, too in your face. A show about LGBTI life and he was shocked at how gay it was. Okay. It got me thinking though that perhaps not every person realises that not all TV shows, films and games are made for them because, well, they're just so used to seeing stuff that is. So when something comes along that challenges that idea, they aren't too sure what to do with it. Think about why there are women's sections in newspapers and an LGBT film section on Netflix. Some gender or sexual orientation identities are regarded as universal experiences that everyone can or must relate to, while others are specialised. Now that's not necessarily anyone's fault, but in the interests of fairness, we might want to have a look at changing things up a bit. Making me worry like that. Games that feature LGBTI characters and relationships without making a big fuss about it are great. I think we all want to get to a point where a character being gay in Mortal Kombat X isn't newsworthy, it's just an everyday fact of life. Don't believe everything you see online. If you're a cisgender person or a straight person, you have the privilege of seeing yourself reflected in media all the time. All you have to do is turn on the TV, click on a video or open a magazine to know that you aren't alone. And that's great, but LGBTI people deserve that too. And the fact is, to make LGBTI inclusivity in games a norm, you have to show it being included. And yes, even celebrated sometimes, at least in some small way. That's not the worst assumption they could have, is it? I don't know. Is it? Do you always answer a question with a question? Would you like me to answer in some other fashion? <laughs> if you're capable. Consider Bill from The Last of Us. The fact that he's gay can be completely overlooked if you don't read the letters from his ex-partner or read the stash of magazines in his basement. Uh. Thanks for the heroics and all. He is in no way approaching a gay stereotype. He's a complex, flawed human being who just happens to be gay, and that makes him pretty great. And The Last of Us's DLC Left Behind, released as a standalone game recently, is a genuinely moving tale of two girls sharing their first kiss. I should leave you to The work desire of many to have LGBTI inclusivity in games, to know that everyone is welcomed, is why a fan-written joke at the expense of transgender people included in Pillars of Eternity can be seen in poor form. My father disapproves. Trans people in particular have had to work exceptionally hard to be accepted by wider society, so it's no wonder a joke poking fun at them might not go over too well, especially when some trans people and those that support them contributed to the game on Kickstarter. Of course, that's nothing in comparison to the game that sneaked itself onto Steam Greenlight recently, a game that developer Skaldic Games claimed was about free speech or some other rubbish. It was ignorant, hate speech, plain and simple. Gaming, as a community, is better than that. Through all this though, remember that I'm not saying we need less games with straight male and female characters, we just need more of everything else. And then everyone wins. It's not like going, ugh, no, I'm so totally sick of mint chalk chip ice cream, just bend it all and everyone can eat every other flavour instead. But it's more like, hey, why don't we just get more of every flavour of ice cream, then put it all together, make sundaes, stuff ourselves, and then roll around fat and happy and content on the floor together. I have completely forgotten what I was talking about. We all love ice cream, right? Well, we all love games too, so it's only fair that we all get to see ourselves in the story once in a while where appropriate. Games never really used to be about in-depth character exploration, but as it heads further in that direction, it's right to broaden our horizons. And yes, sexuality is a very small part of who we are, but who we love is pretty huge. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin, like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't... Except they care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. 
Mass Effect's romances aren't without their charm either, but to be honest, I'm only in it in the hope that one day, Shepard might be given the opportunity to take an Elcor to bed with him or her. Just imagining that kind of scenario makes me want to give up all this and spend the rest of my days writing erotic Elcor fanfiction. In fact, I've already gotten a head start. Wanna hear? Shepard looked longingly into Kaelin's deep-set dark eyes and traced the tips of her fingers over his multiple sets of lips. She laughed giddily. Oh, what are we doing? I'm a human and you're an extraterrestrial quadruped.